You can use Case Tech's Brief Binder to site check your brief and analyze the cases that your brief cites. Brief Binder will also allow you to download all cases cited in your brief with just one click. To launch Brief Binder, log into your Case Tech's account and scroll down to the button that says Site Check a Brief at the bottom of the home page. When you click that button, you'll be asked to upload your brief. You can drag the icon of your brief into this box or click on the link that says choose a document to upload. Brief Binder will then analyze your brief and generate your Smart Site report. Here is an example of a Smart Site report. At the top of the report, you will see the number of cases cited in your brief that have received negative treatment, which are indicated using red flags. Negative treatment refers to cases that have been reversed, overruled, remanded, superseded, or vacated in whole or in part. Red flags indicate the most severe negative treatment. This report indicates that my brief cites to two cases that have received negative treatment. The report will also list the number of cases that have received cautionary treatment, which are indicated with yellow flags. Cautionary treatment means that a case has been distinguished by other cases or cited as a contrary authority. This means that the case you cited may approach an issue differently from other cases or may be an outlier with respect to an issue. Finally, the Smart Site Report will list the number of cases you cited that rely on other cases that have been negatively treated. These cases are indicated using orange flags. A case that has an orange flag has not been reversed or overruled. However, an orange flagged case has relied heavily on another case that has been overruled, reversed, or negatively treated. The Smart Site Report will break down the hostile subsequent authority for each case cited in your brief, which highlights significant events in the citation history for each case. For example, the first case cited in my report, Salinger v. Random House, has received severe negative treatment as indicated by the red flag. Specifically, the Salinger case was superseded by statute as indicated by this Authors Guild v. Google case. In addition, the Salinger case was modified by the Second Circuit and has been cited as a contrary authority. But the most significant negative event in the history of this case is the fact that it was superseded by statute as indicated by the red flag. All of the cases in your Smart Site report are hyperlinked, indicated by the blue text in the case title. You can just click on the case title if you want to access the full text of the case. You can download your entire Smart Site report as a PDF by clicking Download Report from the top right-hand corner of the screen. On the left side, you can download all cases cited in your brief by clicking Download Cited Authorities. My brief has 70 cases cited, and I can download all 70 cases in one click by clicking on the Download button. Here, the cases are listed alphabetically, and you can see the amount of discussion that your brief devotes to each cited case. You can re-rank your cases by clicking the menu under AZ. For example, you can re-rank your cases by depth of discussion, which will put the most heavily cited case in your brief at the top of your list. Here, the most heavily cited case is this Estate of Smith v. Cash Money Records case. If I click on the case title, I see the full text of the case. In addition, the top of the page indicates the specific pin sites for this case that I included in my brief. I can click on each pin site to go to that portion of the opinion and read the text to make sure that I cited to the right part of the case in my brief. Finally, you can re-rank your cited cases by date to see the most recent case cited in your brief. Thank you for watching. 
We hope that BriefBinder will help you efficiently site check and analyze the cases cited in your brief. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact our support team at support at casetext.com.